Hello everyone, Brian here, and I think we may have a new grudge match forming between TS Gameplay and myself. He surprised me on Thursday night and picked up a copy of Mortal Kombat, as you can see. When he had first found out on Monday when I posted that video and I told all of you that I picked up a copy of this, he wasn't really sure if he was going to go ahead and get it, but I guess since I had mentioned that I traded in WWE All-Stars and wasn't really going to be posting any more videos of that, this was the next logical progression in our Grudge Match series. And he and I just really enjoy playing together and beating the hell out of each other in games like this. I don't know how much he enjoyed this night though. He started complaining almost right away that since I had this a few days longer than he did and he only played for about an hour, that I had this incredibly unfair advantage over him. I really just tried to explain to him that when I picked this up on Sunday and play, I did play for several hours, I will admit that, but I really only played through the story mode and playing the CPU is a little bit different than playing against another person and that on this night he had just picked it up, like I said, so he only had about an hour or so of experience in the game. So these early matches did not go well for TS, I'm sorry to say. This was the first match that he and I played. Fighting games have never really been my specialty by any extent of the imagination. I've never been really good at learning and mastering all the combos, so you're probably not going to see a lot of that from me in any of the singles matches that I do post, whether they be against TS gameplay or anyone else that I get into some singles matches with. I am going to do my best to try to learn some of them, but I really can't promise anything. Like I said, you, a lot of you younger guys are just a lot better at mastering those things than I probably ever could be. I am going to give it my best shot, but I guess we'll just see what happens as time goes on. But the most important thing is winning one of these matches. It doesn't always have to be really pretty, as long as you get the job done in the end. And if it's a little bit ugly and you got to use some of the more basic moves, as long as you win in the end, that's all that really matters. And that's pretty much the case for these early matches with TS and I. I won the first round as you saw, and I got him pretty much on the ropes here, and this is pretty much overkill, but come on, I had the x-ray move in my back pocket, I pretty much had to use it now, didn't I? Look at that, oh, the x-ray moves are really cool in this game. Now, I'm trying to learn some of the fatalities as well, and I fail miserably at my first attempt here. I try a couple of the moves and it just doesn't happen, so there's really no epic ending to our first match, unfortunately. I am going to keep practicing as I'm sure he and I are going to continue to play more and more as over the next coming days and weeks. Like I said, repetition and practice makes perfect, so we'll see what happens. I did skip over a couple of the next matches that we had. Uh, I used Scorpion a couple times and he had used Reptile and Liu Kang and it didn't go well for him there either. I played a game with Smoke and I beat him then as well. Sorry TS. I decided to skip ahead here to the fifth match that we played. TS decided to use Noob Simon, who he had just used in the previous match as well. It seemed like he was doing the best with this character, and he does have some really cool moves which he used to his advantage against me in this match. I don't know what the move is called, but I will point it out and you'll see it as it comes up. We got off to a little bit of a slower start in this match. I think TS really just wanted to slow things down a little bit and see if he could keep pace with me. Because the first four matches, like I said, t did not go very well for TS, I'm sorry to say. He did end up beating me in one of the later matches, which I'm sure if he has time, he will post on his channel as well as a rebuttal to this video once he sees it. Because, you know, he and I are very competitive and we went back and forth in WWE All-Stars. And I'm sure as we continue to get into more and more matches of this, we'll continue to do the same thing here as well. And I did want to mention real quick that I have been trying to put a lot of time into Modern Warfare 2 for the Xbox. Try to level up there as well. So be on the lookout for some videos of MW2 sometime in the near future. And here's that move I was just talking about. It's really cool. I really don't know if there's a way to possibly counter that. Where a new Simon just pulls me into the ground. And I guess his shadow or whatever the hell it is just beats the hell out of me underground. I really don't know how to counter that just yet. But TS did mention when we were playing that he picked up the strategy guide for this game. Which I think he said was over 300 pages long. I can't imagine a strategy guide for a fighting game having that much information tied to it. But he was trying to help me out a little bit and tell me some of the fatalities and some of the moves for the characters. Hopefully he's still willing to do so even after he sees this video. But even though we may talk a lot of smack to each other when we play, and of course we make fun of each other when we post these videos of the beatdowns we put down upon each other as well, it really is just all in good fun. 
for us older guys, it really just takes us back to when we were kids, when we used to sit in the same room with our friends, and we would play games like this, or a sporting game, or whatever it may have been on one of the earlier consoles. You know, of course, we would sit there and push and shove each other and talk a lot of smack, and continue that smack talk even on into school the next day. So even though those days have long since passed for an old guy like myself, I'm really glad I've met people like TS and many others of you that I'm able to play these games with, and just relive my youth and those rivalries and, and have these kind of epic matches. But here we go guys, this is why I jumped ahead to the fifth match. I got him right where I want him, and this is the first time I successfully performed a fake tally with Scorpion. Just slicing his ass up with my sword, oh, cutting the head in half. Epic victory for me guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video, I will talk to all of you soon, and I hope you have a good one.